Hello all, I'm Scott and welcome back to my photography channel. Today you're joining me at WWT Mountain Mare. So what is Mountain Mare? It's a wildfowl and wetlands trust dedicated to preserving and protecting healthy wetlands. Should mention I'm not sponsored by the trust in any kind of shape or form, I just enjoy a good day out. So this specific one is located in Lancashire, about 10 miles from the coast or 10 miles from South Port. The site is open 364 days a year, 7 days a week. And there's obviously a different array of wildfowl that you can see on any given day, which is great for the change in seasons. There's paid entry to the trust, so obviously make sure you check the prices first to see what concessions etc apply. We went for membership because it's the cheapest option, but have a look, see what works for you. And the good thing is there's plenty more of these dotted around the country. So there's about eight or nine ones of these located in different areas. So have a look, see if there's one close to you. So today we're hoping to see birds, a little bit of wildfowl, hopefully some dragonflies, if I'm really lucky, it might be still too early for them, don't know. And some butterflies, of course. Definitely a lot of butterflies around, but they're middle of the day and it's quite scary at the moment. So we'll see what we can get. In terms of lenses, I've got my old faithful combo, the Nikon 105mm for the macro, so that's for the dragonflies and the butterflies, and then also the Olympus 100-400mm, and that's going to be for the longer range birds. I have also brought the teleconverter with me to give that little extra reach, but we'll see once again what we can get. There's a bit of heat haze coming off the water, so it's just trying to balance how far I can go without losing any of that image quality. Usually if you've enjoyed today's video, hit the like and subscribe button. It's completely free, costs nothing, and also just means you get notifications for any future updates for the channel if you're inclined in watching more. Leave a comment, let me know the feedback, let me know what you think. So one of the great things I've seen here is the Endangered Species Program. We're actually breeding species which are endangered inside the UK and introducing them back into the population, such as the Inca Tern. It was a great bird to see and something I don't think I've ever seen before, or will get seen in the UK. A really good thing about coming somewhere like this at this time of the year as well, is all of the babies, all, all of the young birds. We've seen some young ducks, some little ducklings going about, but it's just one of those great things to see and basically getting back to nature and seeing those wonderful sights that you wouldn't usually get to see. In terms of what's at the wetland centre, there's some fantastic hides and we've been in quite a few of them so far. I was really hoping to see a kingfisher today but unfortunately none have come out to play, or at least none in my patience. But maybe next time, something I'm really hoping to capture this year, so I'm going to keep trying. This area I'm in at the moment, the reed walk, is absolutely fantastic. It's nice and quiet here but you can hear the birds inside the reeds somewhere hidden away. I was hoping to try and find some dragonflies on this trail. Um, but I'm guessing with it being the middle of the day now, it's quite warm for them and there's just not that many around. You never know, I might still bump into some and if I do, I'll put the shots on the screen. But sometimes you just don't get lucky like that. And that's half the fun of coming out, is trying to find something new, something different. And sometimes it's just like getting out into all of this. That's it for today, I hope you've enjoyed the video. I'll put some more images on the screen for now, but until next time, see you later on.